Hello, my name is Taylor Heath and I'm a business economics and MIS major at the University of Arizona. When the Eller College of Management Leaders Equipped for Diversity program challenged me to look deeper into minorities management in a specific workforce, it was an obvious choice for me to focus specifically on females. So the imbalance of male versus female in the corporate setting is something we've all heard before. As of 2012, more than 16% of Fortune 500 companies were led by women. That's more than any other time in history. This is progress and is definitely something to celebrate. However, it's still a pretty small number and progress is slow. So this realization prompted me to look deeper into female involvement in the business world. I had to look no further than my organizational involvement this last summer. I had the privilege of working in the financial services industry alongside a very intelligent peer set. However, I was the only female intern selected. This intrigued me. Was my company biased in the selection process or were female applicants just in small magnitudes? Working with the Human Resource Department, I dissected the applicant pool for summer 2014 interns. The results you can see here directly reflect that female applicants were in low supply basically across the board. As you can see, the percentile of female applicants is pretty much a direct reflection of the percentiles of females actually hired. So this analysis led me to the conclusion that my organization was in fact not demonstrating any gender bias during their selection. The lack of females hired is correlated more towards the lack of applicants, or furthermore, lack of female interests. Because my research is just one isolated incident, I looked for outside support and found this statistic from the Girl Scout Organization of America. It states that 50% of girls feel that STEM is not a typical career path for women. STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Specifically, under mathematics, you'll find careers in finance, accounting, and economics. That foundation, for example, of my organization this summer. So, looking back now on the percentile of female leadership in the Fortune 500, it has become evident to me that in order to see this number grow substantially in the future, our energy should not be focused on just encouraging equality in the boardroom, but also encouraging equality in the classroom. And what I mean by this is encouraging and inspiring youth to pursue fields of study regardless of career stereotypes.